Europe is pushing for more cloud independence. And uh, Owen Hughes with Tech Republic here to talk with me about this. And uh, Gaia X, uh, that is the name of the program here, Owen, that I know you, we're all just learning about. So I think a good place to start here would be uh, to explain to us, uh, you know, this cloud computing, the fight back program for them. What does it mean? Um, you know, what's involved here? Well, it's, it's kind of exactly what you said. So this is kind of uh, poised as Europe's uh, fight back plan almost to try to reduce its reliance on some of these uh, big cloud companies from overseas. So especially platforms like uh, Amazon Web Services, uh, Microsoft Azure, and sort of uh, regain data sovereignty. So that's data that's subjected to the laws and the governance within the country it's connected. Um, collected, sorry. So, uh, you know, Europe has a really rich ecosystem of digital services, but it doesn't really, at the moment, have a big tech name to sort of hang its hat on. So, if you think of operating systems, cloud platforms, search engines, you know, Google, Microsoft, AWS, they're all US brands, and they don't necessarily operate under the same data policies as Europe. So, what France and Germany want to do with Guy X is first to connect up all these services so that uh, these companies can share data and potentially build new digital services together. Uh, but also it'll kind of act as a repository so businesses can search, uh, f search on this uh, platform when they're looking for cloud and data services. And it will sort of encourage customers to look for domestic solutions instead of necessarily going to these big tech giants. So when you talk a little bit of, or expand a little bit on, you know, who this is going to impact, I know you touched on, you know, why set it up, but talk a little further about that, you know, the why and, and again, who it will impact. Sure. So um, Europe and uh, the US and other overseas um, kind of platforms, uh, platform providers don't all operate under the same laws. So for example, in Europe, we've got uh, GDPR, uh, Cybersecurity Act, the, the Free Flow of Information Act. And what it means is if, if data from a company from uh, Europe um, is processed or stored in an overseas platform, uh, say in the US, they don't necessarily abide to, or apply the same data laws that they would in Europe. So what a guy X really wants to do is ensure that all the data that's generated by these uh, European tech and site telecoms firms, the data remains under EU law, so it's uh, protected by the EU and abides to EU regulations, so it can't be used outside of those purposes. Uh, do we know, Owen, a timeline yet on this when they're hoping to start moving this forward? So uh, this is actually only officially kind of floated in October last year, uh, and it was only this month, um, a few days ago, in fact, or last week, that ministers in Germany really uh, wanted to get the ball rolling and formally launched it. So at the moment, it's hoped that um, a, uh, the platform will be launched in 2021, uh, and there's a plan to have a prototype platform up and running by the end of this year. But um, that's, that's the timeline at the moment, but I guess we'll have to see how that goes. Yeah, most definitely. All right. Um, if anything, much more to come on GAIAX and what we can expect here uh, with all of this and, and certainly have that on Tech Republic and ZDNet. Uh, so we hope all of you will check that out there. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks, Owen. Thank you.